Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Super excited for today's video. It's all about Armani. I've got some new products and some new to me products. For the new products, I have two brand new blushes and a new shade of eye tint. For the new to me products, I have a second uh, eye tint and I have a beautiful lipstick shade. So we've got some things to get into. I'll be swatching for you. I'll be giving you a comparison swatch I think might be helpful and I'm gonna be pulling a look together. So if you wanna see how this Armani face came together and what this cute thing is on my head, just keep watching. And please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. I appreciate it when you do. Now let's jump in. Okay guys, before I jump in, of course I have to talk about my Breezy Tea products of the day. I am rocking our Twist Stretch Headband in Cocoa Blush, okay? I love these things. The fabric is so soft and it's really nice and stretchy so you have a lot of room to accommodate different head sizes and different hair sizes, okay? It is primarily made of viscose, which is essentially wood pulp, and then we have the stretch in there. They do come in lots of colors, so there'll be something there for everyone. And if you don't know, we make all our products ourselves and we are so grateful to have had so many of our products featured in amazing publications around the world. In fact, we've been in Teen Vogue, we've been in Martha Stewart, we've been in The Independent, we've been in New York Magazine, um, Essence, and uh, BuzzFeed, uh, so many places uh, that I can't even remember off the top of my head. So um, super grateful about that. So if you wanna check out any of our twist stretch headbands, just visit us at breezytea.com or our Etsy shop. Links will be in the description below. Okay, so let's jump in. I'm excited for this video. Um, I have some new Armani to share with you and then new to me products I'll be using to pull my face together. I guess the most exciting ones are the Luminous Silk Glow blushes that were just sort of released. I don't know where they've been released. Uh, I think they've been released in Asia. I happen to find these in Spain and um, because I'm in Portugal, and they're like, have sort of a brother sister relationship with some things. Um, uh, it's easy to get some products from there. So um, I found these in Spain, a place that I know in Spain. And I have this beaut here, number 60. You see the logo on there. And I don't know if I'll be able to, I want you to be able to pick up the, 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 the shimmer. There's a really light, beautiful, very, very slight shimmer um, on these blushes. And then I also have this like bright corally, deep coral color, number 40. Super excited to try these on. I am such a fan of their Luminous Silk family that I, I'm just all about these. I have um, some eye tints for you, a new shade. This one is 565, beautiful, rich, red shade. Cannot wait to try these on. This rosy, rosy, rosy color is number 27. This is not a new shade for them. This is a new one for me. I thought this would suit the red beautifully. Now, I've never tried their eye tint, so that, that whole experience is going to be new for me, so I'm excited to try it. And then in my package, I got this little guy. I don't even know if it has a number on it. Um, a number 11. Number 11, the eye tint. So I said, well, it's a freebie, but I'll try it. I'll try this one too. And then I'm gonna end it with a new for me lip maestro shade that I think will tie everything in really beautifully. And I've talked about it before, but I do love a discount, so. The products were, I think they were initially 15% off, but because I got them on Valentine's Day, there was an additional 10%, so <laughs> that makes it even better. And they came in this horribly tacky bag that's like velvet with this gold, but okay, we'll forgive them. We'll forgive them for this bag because it was a nice discount. Okay, so here are the swatches. How rich is that top color? Again, I think, I don't know if I mentioned it, the, the, the color is 565. I thought it was a red, but it's actually more of like a deep eggplanty color, red, purpley red, right? 
a purpley red shade, very, very rich. It's giving Bordeaux, it's giving beautiful. And this beaut here is a really, just a real, like a dusty rose. And this is clearly a satin, okay? Hopefully you can see that satiny shine. And then we have the freebie number 11 here, which is like a, a champagne-y, goldy color, beige goldy color. I'll probably use that just to accent because I, I, I just am loving these two so much. I don't wanna do too much with these. So I'm excited to get these on the eyes. The rose one is number 27 if I didn't say that, okay? So let's get it on the eyes and pull a look together now. Sorry, I was not recording this eye, which frustrates me, but you got to see the second eye and um, they're beautiful. They're absolutely beautiful. And I wanna go in a little bit more with that dusty rose color just in the front. Uh, the way I did it though, it's kind of harsh line. So you just have to be mindful of uh, blending that out a little bit, just a little bit here and a little bit here. I just want a little bit more layered on here, a little bit more pop from that from that pink, a thicker layer. That plum color is yum, and I made it super dramatic on purpose just to see where it could go, and it's so, so, so nice. It's so pretty, so, so, so pretty. Now I'll be sure to just do a, a nice little blend job here um, to make sure that the where the rose and the thing hits is not super harsh, which is not what I want at all. How pretty are these two colors together? So nice. And I absolutely, like I said, this is my first time using their tint. So I am absolutely loving that they're different. Um, they're, they have different finishes. That's so cool and I really, really um, appreciate it. I, I'm a believer now. It took me a long time. I was using maybe wrong ones. They felt um, very uh, drying, they would they would tug to get across, but I'm really starting to embrace um, these liquid shadows. First of all, perfect to travel with, like one and done or two and done, it's so quick. And I love that about them, uh, traveling or not. I love how convenient and quick they are. Um, okay, I've blended it out nicely. There's a little gap here where there's like no color, so. And I can see how this would be beautiful to this particular doe foot to use as a, um, uh, to line the eye with the uh, shadow or tint as they call it, an eye tint. Yeah, I just wanna fill in any gaps where I don't see color. But my first impression is fab. Very, very nice. Armani to me is a thousand percent like a sleeper luxury makeup brand. I, they're, they're, it's like it's not as loud perhaps as Dior and Chanel. Not as loud, but the products are, they have some, some of my favorite products are Armani. The, the foundation I'm wearing today uh, is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite foundations. And now that I mentioned that, a reminder that everything that I'm wearing in 
any video, but for this video will be in the description below. Things I'm featuring and then the, the other things that I'm not will always be in the description below. And there will be some affiliate links if you use my affiliate link. As always, thank you. I will use that to then buy more uh, makeup and do, do more reviews when products come out that, you know, intrigue me but super duper beautiful now this i would easily leave right here but we got that freebie so let's see if we can work that into the brown bone maybe and maybe into the tear ducts enough about them. I'm really, really pleasantly surprised. I didn't know what to expect since it was my first time. You know, like I said, I've I've had bad experiences with uh, liquid eyeshadows before um, being patchy and stuff. And these just work really, really beautifully, beautifully pigmented. And um, I'm loving these colors together. I still have to find a way to use the freebie in a... a it with an, in a way that is more comfortable. I put it here on the inner part of the the bottom of my eye, and then the brow bone. But the two colors that I that I bought are just yummy, and they work as beautifully as I wanted them to work um, together. Very, 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 very pretty. Let's get to these blushes. Okay, so let's start with this bright uh, number forty again to remind you this blush that I do not want to mess up. This feels like, I mean, I know silk is in the name. It really does feel like silk. So, so, so pretty. Really nice amount of pigmentation. I would call this uh, a, a, a corally color, personally. Um, a corally pink color. And I just think it feels so good. This powder, I wanted to see what they had to say about this powder because I know that they're not out um in a lot of places right now so just to give you an idea of what they're saying about it so this is a silky powder blush that gently envelops the skin in a luminous hint of color so natural it seems to come from within using technology applied to armani's iconic luminous silk franchise these blushes deliver a dose of color and subtly luminous finish alongside their silky texture uh the formula features spherical pigments that evenly reflect light across the face for a soft effect Blendable and layerable. It's loaded with pigments for a burst of color that lasts all day. Okay, so that's what we're in for. Let's get this color on the cheek.
know. You know, it's funny. The more and more I've done makeup over the last few years, I realize how important certain things are and how a mascara really will elevate your look. But about this blush, it's absolutely beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Now, I was skeptical while I was reading, saying it's going to look like a, you know, it's coming, the glow is coming with, with um, from within and it's going to like meld into your skin, especially because um, it's a powder product. It's we're not like a cream product, yes, becomes more skin like for me. And I am 45, so as I get older, things start to adhere to my skin in a way that I do not like. So I was a little skeptical reading it. This looks so beautiful on and seamless. For a powder, it's giving me like the same finish that my favorite more creamy um, blushes do. It, it's just so pretty and it, I could keep going. I'm trying to stop because I'm like, I don't wanna, I'm not gonna wear any more than this, but I'm just blending it up. Um, but this is, I love it. I absolutely love this color and I think it looks really beautiful on and you do see this bit of luminosity where I just put it very, very pretty, very, very pretty. And I think faithful to the luminous silk line, it feels like silk. It does have that bit of luminosity. And that's what I love about the products too. They're not, on me, none of them are over the top, but they're, they have a nice bit of just really sophisticated, uh, becoming glow. Let's get to this other color. And the brush was perfect for it too. It picked up the, the, the right amount of product. So, okay, we have 60. Let me just say this. I don't know if there are names with these because of where they're listed. I'm sure there are names too. I'm giving you the number because that's what's available right now to me uh, was the number. Um, if, if, if When the names become available, I'll update the description uh, to include the name of the shade, not just the number. But for now, that's what I have. I, this is just so... Am I about to take that back? There is absolutely a creaminess to it, so I take it back. It's one of those creamy powders. I, I take it back, guys. Rewind, cut that part out. This is absolutely a creamy powder, and that's, 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 that's my favorite current formula for blushes. There, this is, this is, because it does, it just melts so beautifully into the skin. Here is that plummy, what looked like red, but it's giving more red, it's a ready plummy kind of color. Beautiful, beautiful. And I just wanna swatch it against the Gucci one because when I saw this, this um, blush, it immediately made me think of my beloved Gucci one. So let's just swatch that next to it. So we have a comparison. This will help you in terms of comparison. The Gucci one is more red. We get like a brick red from the Gucci one. So this is the Gucci one here, more red. And then this 60 is a much more um, uh, plummy red color, okay? But Gucci will give you more of red if that's what you're looking for. Anyway, let's get this one on the cheeks. I'm super excited. sophisticated it's so beautiful I, oh, I love I love I love I do not need any more blushes but they continue to pull you in this is really really a beautiful really becoming color and it, it works out with the face look too listen I always have swatches on my Instagram page so don't forget to come by follow me on my Instagram page a couple of days after a video goes up I will have swatches for you typically in sunlight when the weather is cooperating, okay? So I'll have picture, photo, and video swatches always um, on my Instagram, so come on by and follow me there. Yes, but back to these blushes, so nice. And you can build them up. Oh, I totally forgot about my nose. Um, you can totally build them up if you, if you uh, want to, um, obviously, do it to your preference. I don't. I didn't want to do too, too much. I probably already did too much, 
but I didn't want to go extra crazy. I haven't done my um, my uh, highlighter yet, and I want to use, I want to see how this is. I love this product, the Luminous Silk Glow Fusion Powder. I've never used it as a highlighter, so let's see how this goes. I mean, this melts right into my skin, so the swatch is probably hard for you to see this, um, but I want to use it as a potential highlighter I do oh yeah there it is sophisticated subtle I I love this as an all over a uh, powder which is what I was going to do I may still I may still but I just wanted to add a little extra to the highlighting area look at that going with that beautiful shade oh yes 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 come on now the luminous silk family again tell me if I'm crazy tell well don't tell me if I'm crazy I'm definitely crazy but tell me if you believe like I do that the Armani beauty brand just seems much more low key. It just, it just seems so much more low key. And I know when I see people, they love the products. It's not even a question of that. The products that they have, they love, but it just seems in terms of marketing and just in terms of buzz, it's never as much as other brands. And it's interesting. They just quietly go about, seems like I could be in my head, but it feels like they quietly go about their business, giving us dope products and um, reliable products. And then you, before you know it, like you, you've got your Armani staples there. So there we go. And I will just, to bring everything sort of together, put a little bit all over. But it did, right in that area, did what I wanted it to. We're good, let's get to these lips. Okay guys, so this is the Lip My Show in 5.30 when I become obsessed with the color. Let me tell you something, I had to hunt this down. I had to hunt this down. Um, here is the shade. Oh, I saw this online and I said, please be everything I want you to be. Because in the bottle, it looks lighter. So when I got it yesterday, I was like, oh. But then when I swatched it, I said, oh, here we go. Here we go. This is the color. Now, I haven't swatched it on my lips, so I might be coming back the other way. But let's try this on and see. So good. Like a, oh uh, yeah, oh uh, yeah. Armani's about to drop some new Lip Maestro satins. Uh, very, very soon. I think they are out. They may be out in Asia right now. Oh, this color. They may be out in Asia right now. Um, but they'll have some new Lip Maestro soon, satin ones. I've talked about my life with plum shades before, but welcome to my teenage and early 20s. If it wasn't plum, it, well, it probably wasn't on my lips. So this is like a plummy rose. Oh, it's so pretty. Come on. I love it. Love, 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 love. And I think it complements everything. This is the finished face. Before I forget, thank you for all the love on the Chanel spring video. I really appreciate all the comments, the feedback, and I'm glad that people took on what I was saying about um, uh, shades on different uh, skin tones and following your own instincts and not always listening to, to other people. Appreciate it. Sending all the love right back to you. So that's it for me, guys. Um, I love everything. Really, really, really strong feelings about my first time using these eye, um, these eye tints. They've dried down really, really nicely. They're just really so soft, so lovely, and really pigmented. These blushes are just lush and divine and creamy. This is so uh, like my age, 45 and up friendly when you don't want those things emphasizing anything. This is not, it's not on my skin at least. It's not emphasizing anything and it's just adding to just a beautiful flush of color that looks super natural uh, on me. Love, 
and this lipstick is exactly the color I hoped it would be. I, it really, really is. So now it's over to you. Let me know what you think of this look. Let me know what you think of these products. Do you have the eye tints? What are your favorite shades in the eye tints? So the, since this is new for me, I'm always open to hearing what uh, people are thinking about them. What are you thinking about these blushes? Are you a fan of the Luminous Silk uh, family? If you're not, what's wrong with you? So now that they're out, are you going to get these blushes too? Let me know in the comments below. And do you have a favorite Lip Maestro uh, color? Let me know that as well, okay? And of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. I always appreciate it when you do. And if you wanna check out any of our twist stretch headbands, any of our t-shirt hair towel wraps, satin line beanies, satin line knit beanies, boho head wraps, and all our other hair accessories, you can visit us at breezytea.com. If you wanna check out any of our luxury lifestyle accessories, you can visit us at fraybybreezytea.com. I will check you guys in the next video. Ciao for now, bye.